Welcome to the know, I'm Ashley Jenkins. And I'm Gus Sorolla. So, Crytek used to be well known for destroying your GPUs with graphics intensive games like Crisis, but these days, unfortunately, they're a little bit better known for not paying their employees. The studio that made headlines a couple years ago for not paying wages to workers is apparently back up to their old tricks. A number of reports surfaced over the weekend that the developer is basically out of money with employees going unpaid for months. Ouch. Happy holidays, wow, okay. Uh, this all started with a Reddit post by user Crytek Throwaway who claims to be a Crytek employee. In that post, he says many of the firm's employees out of the head Frankfurt office haven't been paid in as much as six months. How do you guys live without getting paid for six months? Most people can't do that. Yeah, if my paycheck's six hours late, I'm angry. <laughs> uh, that's Konami level shittiness right there. Crytek Throwaway wrote, I'm not sure where else to turn at this point. This has happened in the past a few times, but never for this long. Management never gives anyone a heads up, and it isn't clear to me if they are getting paid or even informed from the owners. He went on to say, the last time this happened, we were told it would be the last time, and yet it is happening again. Many of my coworkers moved from out of the country to work here and are unable to leave because they cannot afford to get back home due to their wages being withheld for so long. The post also details how workers are afraid to speak out and how there's been zero communication from management about the matter. He ends by asking for legal help on Reddit, which is how you know things have uh, probably hit rock bottom. <laughs> While you may be dubious of one throwaway Reddit post, and for good reason, this is the internet, a number of other reports have landed that back up the poster's claims. A separate source reached out to website Kit Guru, confirming the story and shedding a little bit more light on the details. According to Kit Guru's source, payment problems began in June, with Crytek informing the staff that payments wouldn't be made on time that month. Those problems continued into July and August, with payroll coming in up to two weeks behind schedule. In September, that turned into five weeks. Now that December's rolled around, there haven't been any payments made on wages from October or November. This source also backs up the claim that all of this has happened with zero communication from management. Workers at the Frankfurt studio have now informed the company that if they're not paid for October and November in the next two weeks, they're gonna stop working. Why are you still working? This is some really dedicated, loyal employees. I, I mean, say. you guys really yeah. like whatever game you're making. Yeah, although it doesn't seem hopeful that much will change. Apparently things have gotten so bad that Crytek co-founder, CEO, and president, Shavat Yerli, hasn't come to work in months. If you're new to the business world, that's never a good sign. Maybe the employee should follow his example. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, if you're never gonna pay you, why should you work? It gets even worse than that because these problems aren't relegated to just the Frankfurt office. Unfortunately, workers at the Budapest studio have stopped showing up to work altogether. See, they're doing it right. In addition to that, Let's Play Video Games is also reporting that sources have reached out to them from Black Sea Studios, Crytek's outfit in Bulgaria, to say they haven't been paid in months either. Jeez, uh, problems at Black Sea aren't quite as bad as they are at the main office. The timeline on not being paid is closer to three months rather than six. Oh, well. Well, that's totally different. Uh, however, employees did receive a double salary payment three months ago to make up for a two month payment delay before that. So overall, there have been irregular salary payments for approximately five to six months there as well, similar to what we're hearing about across all of Crytek. The big reason for that for Let's Play Video Games is Crytek hasn't been profitable in a long time, which, you know, welcome to the video game industry. That would be no surprise to anyone who's kept an eye on the company. Over the last few years, they've shifted towards free to play games and VR titles rather than focusing on their really big IPs like Time Splitters or Crisis. But even when they have focused on AAA caliber outings, that hasn't gone so well for them either. Since 2013, their release slate is filled with a number of bombs like Crisis 3, the free-to-play Warface, Rise, Son of Rome, The Collectibles, Arena of Fate, and VR titles The Climb, and Robinson The Journey. Yeah, that... I'm surprised you guys are still open. Uh, in the past, of course, troubling sales were mitigated by one of the company's other revenue streams, which was leasing out their proprietary CryEngine. Unfortunately for Crytek, the once celebrated engine has become much less of a commodity than it was in years past. The highest profile games to use the Kari engine recently were titles like State of Decay, Evolve, and Star Citizen. Coincidentally enough, many of this weekend's reports claim that Star Citizen is where most of Crytek's employees are fleeing in the wake of not getting paid. They've got the money for it. Yes. And they could use the help with the, the engine, I'm exactly. sure, right. Cloud Imperium's also got offices in Frankfurt and it uses the same engine, so at least some of those developers are finding help there. Although whether or not they're jumping from one dumpster fire to another is yet to be determined, I still believe Star Citizen. I want to believe. Yes, I know, like, they put out pieces of Star Citizen <laughs> and those pieces are really cool. Yeah. It's just at some point they've got to put the game, yeah. like the whole thing. It'll happen. As for other big licensing deals with the CryEngine, Crytek did land a huge one with Amazon back in 2015, which Amazon used to create their lumberyard tool. But Kikaru's report claims that all that money 
long gone by now. So when you add that to a lack of games, you come back to that whole business one-on-one -on -one thing of needing revenue to sustain your business. It's uh, simple math, actually. Sadly enough, this isn't Crytek's first shitty employer rodeo. The last time they had problems paying their staff was back in 2014, following the incredibly poor launch of Xbox One exclusive Rise Son of Rome. Yes, that game did not do well. Mm. Those numbers came in around 2 million units total across Xbox One and PC. And while you might say, 2 million, that's really good. If you're supporting three studios for years on that paycheck, that's not good enough. Yeah. Those disappointing sales led to a ton of problems at the studio. Crytek had to cancel multiple games following Rise's release, including plans for the sequel. On an official level, Crytek said the real problem was that they released Rise too early before there was a decent install base on the Xbox One. There's also the fact that the game scored a whopping 60 on Metacritic. That's probably the bigger problem. Yeah, which probably didn't help things either, but yeah, I mean, you can blame the Xbox One. Yeah, sure. But maybe they rushed in order to try to meet launch, and that's why they got such a low score. I mean, when Rise flopped, Crytek allegedly held off on paying their developers for a little over two months with similarly poor transparency then to what we're seeing right now. At the time, it was reported that employees weren't even allowed to talk about payment problems via email because the company didn't want it leaking out that they were in financial trouble. Yikes. Uh, those problems were eventually resolved, but it seems like things might not work out so well this time around. The studio did just release Robinson the Journey, but it's not like VR is helping anybody's cash checks around the entire industry. Hopefully the developers affected find a good place to land before too long. Yeah, the, the um, was it DayZ guy just said there's no money in VR yeah, right now. He, uh, yeah, he stirred up a hornet's nest. <laughs> what do you guys think of Crytek being out of money and not paying their people? Let us know in the comments. For future updates on the goings on of the video game industry, like this video and subscribe to the know. Ouch. I'm, you know the first warning sign there is, the last time this happened they said it would be the last <laughs> time. Isn't that one of the dangers of, that's like a sign of an abusive relationship, I think. Yeah. Uh, they still really love you. CEO and President Chevaux Yearly. Did I say that right? Chevaux Yearly. Chevaux, okay. Yeah.